When you've been working in FreeCAD, you've probably come to a point where you've had to ask yourself, what is the volume of my part? What is the weight of my part? What is the surface area? What is the surface area of a particular face even? Uh, if you've been trained on SOLIDWORKS, it's a relatively straightforward process of evaluate mass properties. And this is an imported step file. And I can get my mass, my volume, my surface area, the coordinates of my center of mass, and some of the uh, moments of inertia. Is it that easy in FreeCAD? And I believe it is. Uh, for FreeCAD, it comes with a simple add-on. And if you don't have it, you can go to the Add-on Manager, click on the Macros tab, and come down to an add-on macro known as FC Info when we're done retrieving info from Wiki. So here's our FC info. You just click on that and click install update and close. So we select the body or the uh, feature or the part that we want to measure with our mass properties. Uh, so I click here, macro, macros, and FC info. We're going to execute that. And here we have it. Um, so it shows us our document and document name. It even uh, gives us a perimeter of face and a coordinate of click mouse, right? So if I click somewhere, after it recomputes everything, you can see the coordinates of where I clicked, if that helps with uh, what you're trying to do. Then there's the updated version. You can also check the perimeter of a face. Uh, I like the unit of millimeters. So if I want to know what the perimeter of this face is for any reason, I can choose that. And there's the updated perimeter. We know that the perimeter is 512.74 millimeters. Uh, finally, if we come down here, uh, let's go to the good part, surface and volume. Uh, the surface of the form, this is the surface area of my entire part, is 305,797 uh, square millimeters. The surface of the face that I've selected, and this is the surface area rather than the perimeter, the surface area of the face is 9,993 square millimeters. The volume of my shape or my part, and this is, you know, if it's solid, it counts as volume. The volume of the part is 753,786 cubic millimeters. And uh, to know the weight, we also have to know the density of the material that we're using. I chose standard ABS. Uh, and I pulled this out of SOLIDWORKS. You can see that uh, the mass properties of the part is actually zero grams per cubic millimeter. The real density of ABS is 0 0.00102 grams per cubic millimeter, which SOLIDWORKS rounds down to zero. Uh, that gives us a mass of 768.86 grams. And if we compare that to FreeCAD, uh, we have 768.86 grams. So we are uh, dead even. In fact, I'll move this so you can just see the mass properties from SOLIDWORKS. So we're dead even on the weight. Now if we look at our surface area, 305,797.25, 305,797.35. So uh, we are negligibly different and I am convinced that that difference is because of some of the rounding errors that happen when a native file is converted to a step format. So I think we're dealing with formatting errors or you know file format errors rather than uh, significant errors in how this is calculated because uh, I'm not doing an apples to apples comparison here. Finally our weight uh, 768 oh we've done that. Uh, our volume 753786 so 753,786 uh, versus the SOLIDWORKS 753,781, that is six thousandths of a percent error. And I also believe that that is going to be tied in with the ST, or the step, rather, the step conversion of my file format when I brought this into SOLIDWORKS. So I think that between these two platforms, FreeCAD uh, is extremely accurate. And it also provides you with the bounding box, so you know what kind of envelope you're fitting in. That would be great for 3D printing. And you also have uh, your moments of inertia should you need them. 
Um, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.